the first year, we're really trying to train people in all the general digital skills. We'll do some concept design, do some character design, do some modelling, some rigging, some lighting, some animation, some compositing, really a little bit of everything. The second year is more focused. So we have uh, two, two modules on character animation and you go into great detail approaching the levels that you'd be expected to achieve in the film, film industry. And these will also be appropriate for game animation or animated content for web work and, and that sort of thing. We've also got some, uh, a compositing module where you learn about the compositing pipeline and you learn about visual effects. We also do things like motion capture, um, match moving. In the modelling you'll be improving your modelling skills, learning to, to model characters, texture them, rig them so they're ready to set up and, and animate. The third year is a culmination of all your studies and what you'll be focusing on is producing an industry ready demo reel. So you'll be looking at the industry in great detail, working out where you're going to fit into the industry, developing a strategy for joining the industry, and then producing some absolutely fabulous work that you can show to employers. I've been working in animation for about 25 years. Uh, my first film was, was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, back in the 2D days when we used to hand draw everything. Uh, I worked in, in uh, Los Angeles for 10 years, and while I was there, I started teaching at CalArts, the California Institute of the Arts, which is really traditionally uh, well, for years, was the best place in the world to study animation. So a film I worked on a few years ago was The Lion King. I was lucky enough to work at the Disney studio in Los Angeles for uh, Disney animator Andreas Deja, who's an incredibly talented Disney animator. And he really designed the character of Scar. There were four of us working on that film, but, or, or on that character. But that was really, that was a great experience, working with Andreas. So another uh, film that I was really pleased to work on was The Iron Giant and that was for director Brad Bird who's an absolutely wonderful director, genius director and has since gone on to do uh, The Incredibles and Ratatouille over at Pixar. I also worked on The Chronicles of Narnia, uh, Voyage of the Dawn Treader and that was done over at Moving Picture Company. Well I did two, worked on two characters, a, a dragon and a giant sea serpent and the sea serpent is the sort of projected imagination of one of the characters. It's his worst fear that comes to life. And I worked in the last three Potter movies. We did these animated birds at Cinesite, so uh, Hermione gets annoyed with Ron because he's been kissing some girl he shouldn't, and, and, and she creates these magical little green birds that flap around her head and then they fly at Ron. So we animated those over at Cinesite. And, and on, the, on, on the last film, we did, uh, we did some work at Cinesite on the Patronus deer um, that is following Harry in the forest. Uh, and we, uh, Cinesite designed the deer, and I did some design work on that, some concept art on that. I teach animation, motion graphics, and 3D design, um, 3D visualization for designers. So I've done work for architectural visualizers, furniture designers, I've done motion graphics for um, some corporate companies. We're trying to train people to be general 3D artists, because if you can do, if you can, if you can work in Soho on a visual effects movie, you're also going to have the kind of skills that could take you into games, into 3D animation at a studio like Aardman, all of these skills uh, cross-pollinate one another and, and are part of being a really good digital artist. But I'm looking for someone who's passionate about basically someone who has both creative and technical skills. That's what we really want. And in fact, that's what the industry is looking at. That's kind of the holy grail. Well, I think one of the really exciting things about being here at Bucks is we've got this brand new media building. And in it are not just animators, but filmmakers, green screen artists, there's sound design people, there are music people, there are actors, there are dancers. You know, we have an opportunity here to create an animation course that isn't just doing animation, but also is working with other aspects of filmmaking on the other courses. One of the important things about the course is you're not just going to get taught by, by me and the other uh, tutors here at Bucks. We're going to be visiting professors, people coming in to do special workshops. We've actually got the, the head of uh, animation at Frame Store is, is helping us out on the course. And that really means the head of animation on the best, well certainly one of the best visual effects houses in the world. So that's, having industry contacts and making this course industry relevant is really important to us. Uh, we're talking to, we've got support from Cinesite where I worked for many years and, and we'll also have links with, with Double Negative and, and Moving Picture Company. And those are really the big four studios in London um, that, that, um, uh, that do visual effects at a very high level. But there are lots and lots of mid-range studios and also small studios. There's a lot of job opportunities in this, in this medium. And there are skills shortages, which is why a course like ours can really help to fill those gaps.